go to war. What is it good for? <laughs> Sneak up on the enemy. Sneaking up on George Armstrong Custer. Get him, boys. Get him. Center. Line them up. Man. Some of them got that stop and some of them did not. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, Paul Gowder here with Powell's.com. That's what you call a sneak up dance, ladies and gentlemen. Sneaking up on the enemy. Minute, while we're waiting, let me know are you new Group to number two, come on in. Before? Love to hear from you. What was your last this time? Oceanside Verbo is about to become the backdrop for an unforgettable vacation memory. One of the rare moments when kids just let themselves be kids again. Number two, Kenneth. Kenneth Brown. Have a lightning horse. Sing one of them old denomination songs. Thank you so much for your stars. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Paul Gowder here with Palos.com. Thank you all for being here. Tonight, I want to talk to you about a question we are getting a lot on Palos.com right now. Powwows are starting to happen again all across the United States. States are starting to loosen restrictions. People are starting to gather again, and powwows are back. Canada's a little slower opening up, but powwows are here in the U.S., and they're happening. So we're getting some questions about that. So we're, tonight, we're going to talk about how you can find some powwows near you. There's some happening in your state sometime soon. So we're going to talk about that and help you find some powwows. But I also want to address questions we get all the time. If you want to become a dancer, if you want to get involved, be a singer, volunteer, help out, or even help organize powwows. We're going to talk about that too. So thank you all. Um, let me know what you know what the powwow is um, that you're missing out in uh, 2020 and what you're looking forward to hitting first. Um, <laughs> wish I was at the powwow snagging. Yeah, I know. So Kathy, we're definitely going to talk about how you can find some powwows near you in just a minute, but I do want to cover some announcements first. Um, 
We have this year at powwows.com is a big year for us. It is our 25th anniversary. We started the website in 1996, and thank you all out there in the Powwow Nation community. You have helped us grow and just become, you know, our community is amazing, and you've helped us become what we are. Thank you all for that support in these 25 years. It has been a fantastic journey. Thank you, thank you. So we are planning to kick off a celebration that's going to last for months here on powwows.com. We really want to do some special things as we celebrate our 25th. And so we're going to kick that off with a big giveaway. That's going to be the first way we celebrate. Um, and you'll see back here, I even have some prizes that have come in. You may recognize what those boxes are. Some powwow people may recognize those. I got a big stack of things out there. We're going to kick it off with a giveaway starting July 1st. If you want to be one of the first to know what's going on, Head over to www.powwows.com 25, and you can be among the first to find out what's going on. Kathy, thank you. Thank you for the stars. Yes, we will. Uh, I'm going to tell you how to find some powwows in just a second. Um, one other announcement. We also have a really special project going on right now, our Fill It Forward water project. We're partnered with an organization called Fill It Forward. And again, I don't have my bottle with me, but we have stickers that you can purchase on our powwow shop, or if you buy a t-shirt, um, one of our special water t-shirts, and um, I will bring that up while I'm talking. Um, purchase one of those or one of our water bottles. We'll send you one of those stickers. You place that on a refillable water bottle and scan it with an iPhone app. Each time you do, the Fill It Forward organization makes a contribution to water projects, and they are supporting water projects all across the world, and two of them are helping indigenous communities right here on Turtle Island. Uh, one in the United States and one in Canada. So please check that out over at www.powwows.com slash water. And that is an easy way, once you get your sticker, to really contribute and help make a difference and provide clean water for some of our native communities. And pulling that shirt up now. Here's the shirt for that water project. Um, it says water in life and the water is made up of all kinds of different native words that mean water. So check that out over on our shop site. Head over to www.powwows.com slash water to check that out. Really appreciate you joining that effort. And let's make a difference with, for those people that need clean water. You'd be surprised at how many people here in the United States and Canada don't have access to clean water. And this, these projects can really make a difference. Also want to say a special thank you to our patrons. These are the powwows.com booster club. And each month they're making a contribution and helping move powwows.com forward. Like I said, we've got some really cool things going on for our 25th anniversary, and these are the folks that really helped make some of that possible with their contribution. If you want to join them and be one of the supporters of powwows.com, please head over to powwownation.com. We'd love to have you join that part of our community as well. All right, so there are the announcements. Um, all right, so we've got somebody else asking about Idaho Powwows. All right, so let's talk about it. Um, if you're not aware, here at powwows.com, we have an extensive power or calendar of events and i'll show you that now our calendar is over at www.powwows.com calendar really easy to remember you can head over there and check that out um, we actually have a dedicated member of our team that is entering and editing information on the powwows full time um, i was able to pretty exciting because of our patrons and other things we're doing here at powwows.com we actually have a full-time employee uh, my wife, <laughs> who's gone full-time with Powell's.com, and that's one of the things. Every day she is taking flyers, taking information that she's getting in email or social media, um, all the people that are sending us information. She is entering all of that in the calendar daily. So our calendar is very up-to-date, as up-to-date as we can possibly make it. So you can find lots of powwows there. So you can come to the, the calendar, and you can do some searches if you want to search by month, year, or even by state. Or you can even search some keywords. So if you're looking for gathering of nations, you can do a search and that's going to pull up some things that match that result. There's gathering of nations 2021 and we'll be posting information for 2022 real soon. So that's a real easy way just to go to the calendar and do some searching. Or of course, you can just browse. Here are ones that are coming up in the next few days. Here's ones coming up this month and ones coming up next month. So you can browse and just take a look at those. But we have an even easier way for you to find powwows near you. So somebody was talking about Spokane, Washington. So if you go to powwows.com, www.powwows.com slash, and type in your state name, Washington, that's going to pull up the listing of all the powwows in your state automatically sorted for you. You don't have to do any searching on our calendar. There it is. So here are the powwows that are happening in Washington that we have listed. Um, let's see. There's one coming up in August. 
another in August. There was one that it happened already in May. Um, now, keep in mind that lots of these powwows haven't updated their information for 2021 or 2022 yet, but we keep some old powwows on there just so you get an idea of what did happen in the past. And as we get new information, we'll update these past powwows. So here's where you can go and find that. Um, there's quite a few in Washington State. You can see here as I'm scrolling through. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm unfamiliar with, with Washington State to know if any of these are close to Spokane, but hopefully they are. So that's one way you can find that out. Another person asked for Idaho, so let's take a look. I know there's a lot of powwows up in Idaho. You gotta spell powwows.com right. Idaho. And here we go, pops over right to the listings in Idaho. And so, the, yeah, Shoshone Bannock Festival, that's a good one. Idaho State University, that's another good one. Um, yeah, lots of good ones up that way. Uh, University of Idaho's having, yeah. So, there you just scroll through these and you can find some near you. Those are the easiest ways to do that. Um, if you also just go to Google and type in powwows in my state, that's going to take you to a page that we have on powwows.com and you scroll through this and we have a link to every single state. And for you Canadian people, when Canada starts opening back up here at the bottom, we do have a listing for every okay, Canadian province. Now, on our powwow calendar, we list about during, let's say, during non-COVID times, we list on our powwow calendar about 1,200 events a year. Um, and so we have events listed on the calendar literally for every single state in the United States, all 50, including Hawaii and Alaska. Um, and I can tell you, I've been very fortunate to actually dance and uh, uh, celebrate a powwow out in Hawaii. It's awesome. So they have them in every single state. So there is, if you live in the United States, there is probably one close to you. Um, checking in from Muskogee, Oklahoma. Hello, hello, Susan. Dev, hey, welcome back to the show again this week, man. Good to have you here. Um, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the comment. Thank you, thank you. So, um, yeah, if you head on over to this page, just Google powwows in my state. It's going to pop you over here, and you can see we have them in every state, and you can easily click on these links. Canada, I know your powwows aren't happening yet in most places. You're still virtual. We just helped Manitowabi do their virtual powwow a couple weeks ago. Um, but again, during non-COVID times, we list powwows in almost every Canadian province. There's a few that, that we don't have any events there, some of the um, more uh, northern ones that don't have events. But we list them in most places in Canada, in all of the 50 states. So that's the easy way to find out when you can uh, or how you can get involved and be at a powwow. So I'll do that one more time just to show you. Let's see. Here we go. So if we got somebody... Somebody mentioned they're from Oklahoma, so powwows.com slash Oklahoma. And here we go. There are, of course, lots happening right there in, in the center of Indian country right there in Oklahoma. Lots coming up. we got one in September, August, uh, one this weekend in Oklahoma City. Uh, the Delaware powwow is coming up, so that's, uh, that's always a really good one. The Indian Horse Relay, I've heard some good things about what they're doing this year for that. Um, Oklahoma... Um, Oklahoma City Powwow Club happened last weekend. Some of that was streamed on powwows.com. Go back and take a look at that. Um, so yeah, just scroll through here. You can see there's lots of powwows in Oklahoma. Again, some of these may not be, um, well, some of these are just, just happened, but some of them are still from 2020 as uh, we'll wait for them to put out their flyers and their information for 2021, or they possibly are just waiting until 2022 as well. You can see we've got over six pages of powwows in Oklahoma. Um, and of course, once you find one, let's... Uh, go back up and we were talking about um, I know the Delaware powwow is always a good one click on this and you can get some even more detailed information so here we have the you can find the dates um, most powwows provide us an actual street address so you can take that into a map if you want you can click to visit their website scroll down a little further we'll have some more information a way for you to add it to your calendar whether you're using an iCal or Google Calendar you can put it there we got the full flyer. You can check that out and see all the information. Here's a map for you to find more information. We've got some weather and then some links to help you out. Um, I do want to say there, I saw the disclaimer we always put on the powwows. Remember too, when you're traveling and especially during these COVID times and we're, as we're still coming out of this pandemic, before you, you know, even if you find it on powwows.com cl calendar, before you go, just do some verification. Uh, maybe contact the, the, the number there on the website or go check out their social media. Just make sure that the powwow is still happening um, 
um, and, and make sure nothing has changed. Right now, you know, things are changing uh, pretty quickly. So to verify some information, if you're, especially if you're traveling long distances, you're going to drive several hours, check it out first. Tammy says, what about Los Angeles? Yes, there are powwows near you. Powwows.com slash Cali. Ah, and I cannot spell California. That was terrible. There we go. California. All right. Vanessa says, hey, Seminole Nation. All right. Okay, so here are the powwows in California. There are tons out there. Um, I'm hoping that Morongo is going to have their powwow up in September. Uh, we got a good one coming up, the SIR powwow happening out there uh let's see stanford powwow was just a couple weeks ago they uh, i can't remember what they had there it might have been virtual um long beach has postponed theirs um berkeley did a virtual so you scroll through here and again even if they haven't listed here's one that's in los angeles um morongo is pretty close to you guys uh here's another in la um so remember yeah these are these are from last year so we're still waiting to see if people are going to post it for 2021 or again, yeah, just wait till 2022. But there are some near you. Um, Tammy was asking about that. Um, Dev, yeah, I, I wish there were powwows in, in Ontario too. I'm sure there will be soon. Just keep uh, keep waiting and holding out. Uh, as more people get vaccinated, we'll have that. Okay, so another question we get, and, and if you have any other questions finding powwows, let me know. I'd be happy to help you. You can always email me too if you need um, help with that. Just email webmaster at powwows.com. And we'll try to get that to you. Okay, we got one more. Wisconsin. So I love another one I'm missing is uh, I usually head up every year to the um, uh, Hunting Moon Powwow in Milwaukee. Y'all make it, you know, these are simple things to spell, but challenging me while I'm trying to talk and type at the same time. All right, powwows in Wisconsin. There we go. Here are some that's going on. Um, Legendary Waters was postponed. Um, here's the Wisconsin annual spring powwow that was, was in 2020. Uh, it doesn't look like Wisconsin has too many posters for 2021 yet. We're still, so just keep checking back. You know, like I said, we have somebody that's editing this calendar every single day. So just keep checking back and see when these things get edited and updated and we'll get you there. All right. So the next question I want to address tonight is I get a lot of people that are asking about how they can get involved in powwows, whether it's somebody that wants to learn how to dance and, and, you know, start dancing, whether it's at their local powwows or they want to head to competitions and start competing, or if they're interested in, in starting to learn to sing and participate in some of the drum groups, or if they just want to go and volunteer and help out. So first, let me say that um, if you're new to powwows and you're new to the powwow world, it's a little different than other kind of things. Like um, my family's real involved right now, and we just, just had a meeting a few minutes ago. We're really involved with my daughter's marching band. So there's marching band competitions and DCI competitions all across the country and in Canada. And you go to those competitions, they're all run by kind of, um, like in our state, there's a central body that runs all the competitions and DCI, they have a national organization that run all the, all the competitions across the whole country. And so it's all kind of united under one thing. The powwow world is different. There isn't one unifying body that runs all the powwows or, or kind of everybody is uh, rolls up into. Um, so every single powwow is organized by their own committee, whether that's a tribe, a group of friends, um, uh, some of them are run by Indian centers, or um, some of them have committees that have been organized into maybe nonprofits, um, uh, like um, the National Powwow that's in Danville, Illinois, every three years. Uh, they have an organization that's been around for a long, long time, uh, FIHA, um, and some other organizations like that. Um, there are some old, old organizations that, like you saw the Oklahoma City Powwow Club, uh, the, Amer uh, the American Indian Center in Chicago organizes a powwow. And some of these are run by families. Some of them are organized just by a group of people, um, but, or they're organized by casinos. So every single powwow has their own individual committee. So when people ask, you know, how you get involved, I can't really tell you to, like, you know, go to... Um, other than go to our calendar and find where they are, there's not a real, there's not some form you go fill out and you can start volunteering at powwows. The best advice I can give you, whether you want to become a dancer or singer or just want to go and volunteer your time, the best way to do that is go to your local powwow, find those ones close to you, go visit, go to the powwow. First thing, just go and participate, watch it, have a good time. And, you know, as you start visiting some of your local powwows, talk to the people that are volunteering. 
If there's an admission, you know, if there's people there taking tickets or charging missions or selling t-shirts or, um, you know, whatever, there's or people that are organizing, just stop and talk to them. Um, some of these people are, you know, you're going to meet some great people. The, the hospitality will be, hospitality will be awesome. Um, you know, most places you start asking those kind of questions and want to get involved, you're probably going to be taken and, and fed, um, and, and, you know, and, and really treated nice. So don't be scared. Just go up and talk to these people. You know, of course, be respectful. Don't do it during the middle of grand entry or when they're working and, and they're busy. But, you know, these people will be more than happy to talk to you. So most of these organizations are always looking for help um, and they always need more people volunteering. So just go and talk to them and, and get to know them. Um, and as you start visiting these powwows and you start going to some of the same ones, especially in your local area, you're going to see some of the same people attending all the powwows in, in kind of that area. Um, when I first started powwows.com, before I had powwows.com, that, that's what we did. We traveled to powwows here in North Carolina, South Carolina, and we really got to know those people. And so every weekend when we go to powwows, we were visiting, you know, and setting up camp with the same people over and over again. And we got to, you know, we got to be really good friends with them. We travel with them, uh, you know, look forward to, you know, after the powwow, going back and having a meal with them. And, you know, this gets to be an extended part of your family, your friends. And what, you know, once you kind of do that a few times, then, you, you know, you'll you'll be just be it'll just be natural. And it'd be an extension of, of you going to the powwow. You'll all of a sudden um, just be involved and you'll be helping, whether it's set up, uh, put chairs out, tables out or uh, putting water out, helping feed, whatever. That's the best way I can tell you to do is to get involved. Uh, when I was first um, learning how to straight dance and making my outfits, that's how I that's exactly how I did it. I went to some of the powwows right here in the North Carolina, South Carolina area. And some of those guys. Um, uh, with the white bear halushka, they took me in. Um, it, some of them in, invited me to their house and showed me how to make stuff, um, helped me sew, and taught me how to do ribbon work. Um, like I said, you know, it, it's there's there are people that will really help you. Just reach out to them and, and like I said, be honest, be authentic, and uh, they'll they'll really take you in. Uh, all right, a couple comments here. Thank you, thank you, much love back to you. I appreciate it. Linda says can't dance anymore. Powwows. Um, well, if you can't dance, so, and that's the next thing I'll talk about. I'll hold on just a second. Let me take the, uh, Renee's over there in the borders of Illinois. Awesome. Yeah, just powwows.com slash Illinois. There's a lot up there. So having said all that about watching powwows, finding them near you, getting involved. And so I know there are some people that are challenged and can't travel, maybe can't participate like they used to. As we come out of this pandemic, powwows.com will start streaming powwows again. So you can go visit us over at www.powwows.com and right on the homepage. Um, we have a button that says watch powwows live or right in the top menu bar. Uh, here we go. And so, so far this year, we've streamed the collective powwow, wellness powwow, the virtual gathering of nations of Manitowabi. Um, we've got Morongo and Hunting Moon on there. That, that's me having wishful thinking. Uh, we usually we stream 15, 20 powwows a year. So that's another way if you're not able to make it, you can still get involved and still kind of get connected back to powwows right there in your home. Uh, you know, we did a lot of virtual powwows this year, but during non-COVID times, we are actually taking our crew and all of our gear to powwows and streaming it with you. We'll set up multiple cameras and we'll have all the action. So, um, so be sure to check that out. All right. The other question I want to address tonight that we get quite often, um, and maybe there's not anybody on the call tonight that, or the, on the show tonight that's that has this question, but I'm hoping if somebody watches this back, maybe you'll, you'll get that answer. So I get a lot of people asking me, um, how can they have their own powwow? They've got a great piece of property. They've got some land, um, or they know a really good place that would hold a lot of people. Um, so I go back to what I was saying a minute ago. Powwows, all of them are organized by individual committees. So there isn't like, going back to my DCI example, Drum Corps International. Um, or um, I'm starting to play a lot of disc golf. When they have competitions, these groups bid for it and say, hey, we have a really great course. We want to bid for a, con a competition to come to us or, or host a major. PGA is the same way. You know, Some of these courses will say, hey, we want to have the um, U.S. championship here this year um, or whatever, and these tournaments, you know, these locations will kind of bid and ask them to come. Powwows aren't that way. There isn't kind of a traveling, they don't move powwows around like that. So the same powwow will be at the same location every year, unless something happens and they have to move it. So there's not really a way you can say, hey, I've got some land, you know, bring your powwow to me. Again, I'm going to go back to go to your local powwows, get involved with the people, talk to them. And once you find out who's organizing these powwows in your local area, it's going to be the same people you're going to meet at, at, at all these powwows. It's going to be 
a group that's really behind a lot of the same powwows. Get to know those folks, and you know, then you can start saying, "Hey, you know, I've got this really cool piece of property. I've got these four or five acres, or ten acres, or whatever you got. We've got you know seating, and we've got uh, electric hookups, or whatever you've got that you think would make a great powwow grounds, and just talk to them, and maybe then you can start working toward moving an event or having an event there. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into hosting a powwow. Um, it's not just you know have the land. There, there's a lot more that goes into it, but hopefully that'll at least get you started. Um, are y'all going to Newtown? So right now we don't have any plans to stream anything live. We are hoping to get some going here soon. Um, hello, Anna, Anna. Appreciate you watching tonight. Oh, sorry to hear that he passed away. Um, I hope you're able to get dancing again for him soon. That's awesome that, uh, that you're going to be able to dance for him. Um, so, I, yeah, again, uh, I don't know if we're... Um, right now I'm not scheduled to, or we don't have anybody scheduled to be at Newtown, but maybe, um, we, we got a couple people that are doing, um, some remote you know, streaming from their phone and things like that. Um, but we don't have any, um, where we're taking our full crew and our full setup yet, but keep checking back. We will have them. Um, so just to summarize what we kind of talked about tonight, we, um, check our power calendar. We are updating it every day, we're getting those powers out to you as fast as we can. So check that. Subscribe to our newsletter. We send out um, upcoming events twice a month um, with all of our new changes in the powwow or the calendar. You can get those twice a month sent to you an email. Um, of course, follow us here on Facebook and um, on other social medias. We'll be posting those there too. So that's how you can find powwows near you. If you want to get involved, go visit those local powwows. Get to know the people. Get to know the dancers um, and volunteer. You know, start carrying water, um, helping serve food, um, setting up chairs, doing those little things. That'll really get you in and uh, get you going in, in the helping and really contribute, contributing. Um, so let's see. Swan Lake First Nation. Hey, Robert. Thanks for watching. That's awesome. Appreciate you being here. Um, let's see if I missed any other questions. Sue Oneida Nation watching. Vicky asked, what are the protocols for taking pictures? Um, okay, so that's a really great question. Let me uh, check here. Let's see. Make sure there wasn't any other ones I missed. All right, so Vicky, so I, I go to powwows. Um, my, my camera's sitting right back there. I've got, I take, I go to powwows and I take pictures um, of all the powwows. So yes, you can take pictures. Um, yeah, so Vicky, I'm trying to answer it right now. So sorry, I did miss it earlier. Um, so yes, you can take pictures at powwows. You're welcome to do that. There are a couple of things I will, you know, suggest you follow as far as guidance. So first, listen. You know, keep an eye an ear out for the MC as they make announcements. There will be times at powwows, depending on what's going on, that they may ask you not to take pictures, whether they're doing some kind of a ceremonial event or they're having an honoring for somebody. Um, there's some things that, that do happen at powwows where they ask you not to take pictures or not video record. You know, there's times during our live streams where we will actually turn off our cameras, um, even though we're still live. We'll turn off our cameras and, and maybe just show our logo or show a black screen because there's something going on that doesn't need to be broadcast. Um, so just listen out for that. Um, the other thing I'll tell you is, as long as the dancers are in the arena, you know, take pictures and, and do all that. If they're outside the arena, they're walking around, they're with their family, whatever, just be courteous, you know, it, it, go up to them and ask them if you can take a picture. Um, you know, these, these are just regular people, even though they're in their dance clothes. So, you know, don't stick a camera in their face. They're, they're, don't be the paparazzi, you know. As soon as they get off the dance floor, being jumped, and <laughs> um, it, you know, most people are going to say yes if you ask, you know, if you ask nicely and politely, and you're, you're doing it when they're not in the middle of changing or getting ready for their next dance, or you know, struggling to get, getting those bustles tied on so they can make it out there for their contest. Um, most people will be more than gracious to let you take a picture. Um, but yeah, when they're out at the dance area, most of the time that is okay. Uh, if you're going to use them for commercial prop, uh, commercial purposes, of course, you probably want to get releases. Um, from the dancers before you do anything with those for a commercial reason. And by commercial, I mean selling them, um, putting them on a t-shirt, stuff like that. You definitely want to do that. So I hope that helped answer your question. Hello from Germany. Appreciate you watching. There's actually, I've seen footage. There's some good powwows going on in Germany. Um, some of the military base there hosts them. And I think there's some, actually some powwow clubs that have been uh, formed over there in Germany. Um, and some of our European and in the Middle East, some of our bases are putting on some really good dances, um, you know, doing the best they can with what they have. But in the past, I've seen some videos from some of those powwows that are pretty awesome. All right, everybody. So those are the announcements for and discussion for tonight. 
Uh, I do want to remind you, please go over to www.powells.com slash 25 and sign up for our 25th anniversary celebration. We've got some really cool things coming. I can't wait for you all to see what's going on. And also check out our Fill It Forward project. Help out with our water project and let's get some clean water going to some tribes that really need that help. Victor from Argentina. Thanks, you. I appreciate that. Oh, he's coming to the United States in August or September. So, uh, yeah, definitely if you need some help with that, shoot me an email, webmaster at powwows.com. Let me know what states you're traveling to, and I'll, and I'll try to recommend some um, if, if, as we find out what's going on and uh, definitely kind of help you steer in the right direction. Again, like I said earlier, not all of them are happening. Um, some of them are limited or, you know, maybe some are still virtual. So, yeah, shoot me an email, and I'll definitely help give you some advice there as you travel um, this far. You're you're so welcome for the advice. I hope this help is helpful. Again, reach out to me, shoot me a message, whether it's on Facebook or email webmaster at powwows.com. I'd love to answer more of your questions and talk to you uh, about planning your next your trip to the next powwow. And if you are new to powwows, be sure to um, subscribe to our. We have an email series that will kind of introduce you to powwows. There it is, right there, www.powwows.com slash powwow101, and that will really help you um, get started and learn more about powwows. Um, we have an email series. You get an email every day for about seven or eight days, and it goes through each part of the powwow and gives you some links to videos and pictures and articles that you can help read and really learn more about those. So check that out. it would be a great resource. Again, I'm Paul Gowder with powwows.com. We are live every Thursday night. Thank you, thank you all for your support. Um, I really appreciate you being here each week, and uh, we'll we'll be back next week for with another show, and uh, we'll have some guests coming up soon. So thank you all for being here, and I hope you have a good night and a great weekend, and I hope we're back in the arena together dancing and singing soon. Thanks, everybody.